Welcome to the chapter The Plants Around Us. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand the plants in and around our house. Explain why should we grow trees? Identify the types of trees that do not grow around us. Distinguish between water plants and desert plants. Now let us start our chapter with the introduction. We know different types of plants are found around us. They make our world beautiful. Big, strong and straight plants are called trees. Plants that are smaller than trees and bushes are called shrubs. Weak plants that need a support to climb are called climbers. Weak plants that grow along the ground are called creepers. Plants provide us many useful things. Do you know what types of plants are grown in our houses? Why should we grow trees? The trees that do not grow around us. What are water plants? What are desert plants? Let us try to answer these questions and learn more about the plants that grow in our surroundings. First, let us start our chapter by studying the plants around us. Sneha likes flowering plants very much. She grows different types of flowering plants, vegetable plants, fruit plants in the backyard of her house. She waters these plants regularly. She takes care of the plants and prevents others from plucking the leaves and branches. In front of Sneha's house, there is a big banyan tree. In the evening times, all the children come and play under the banyan tree. Sneha will also join them. Along with the banyan tree, tamarind and neem trees are also there. There is also a tall palm tree outside Sneha's house. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Here, let us know whether the size of all plants is same or not. The size of different trees is different. Some trees are big in size and some are small. Some plants will have longer and broader leaves while some other plants have smaller leaves. Trees like mango, banyan, neem, tamarind etc. are big in size with many branches. These trees give us shade. Hence, they are grown along the side of the roads. The fruits, flowers and leaves of these plants are mostly used in the medical field. These trees give us wood and provide shelter to different animals. Palm trees grow tall without branches. The leaves of these trees are used as the roofs of the huts. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Now, let us study the uses of plants, especially about mango tree. There are a number of uses with trees. The mango tree in Sneha's house helps them in many ways. Let us know a few important uses of mango trees. We can prepare pickles with mangoes. Most of the people like eating mango fruits. During festivals or for special occasions, people decorate their houses with mango leaves. They tie a swing to the mango tree and enjoy swinging.
Let us know about the plants that do not grow around us. We eat different varieties of fruits out of which some of them are grown in our area and some of them may not be grown in our area. For example, banana trees are grown in our area whereas apple trees are grown in cold regions. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Let us know what water plants are. The plants which grow in water are called water plants or aquatic plants. Examples of water plants are lotus, water lily, hydrilla, etc. Let us study about desert plants. The plants which grow in sandy soils and in places with less water are called desert plants. Examples of desert plants are cactus, aloe vera, etc. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Keywords List of keywords are shown on the screen. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Different types of plants are found around us. They make our world beautiful. Plants provide us many useful things. The size of different trees is different. Some plants will have longer and broader leaves while some other plants have smaller leaves. Trees like mango, banyan, neem, tamarind, etc. are big in size with many branches. These trees give us shade. Palm trees grow tall without branches. The leaves of these trees are used as the roofs of the herds. We eat different varieties of fruits out of which some of them are grown in our area and some of them may not be grown in our area. The plants which grow in water are called water plants or aquatic plants. The plants which grow in sandy soils and in places with less water are called desert plants. Improve your learning. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow-up work. Take up the following activities. Note the details of the plants that are grown in the houses of your friends. Fill the table with the particulars. Different types of plants and trees grow around us. Are they all of the same height? Some of these grow less than your height. Some grow up to your height. And some grow more than your height. Identify such plants and trees and write them in the table. In the lesson, we have learned the uses of mango tree. In the same way, write the uses of coconut tree and neem tree. Write down the names of the fruit trees you have never seen in your area. Example, apple tree. Write the differences between banyan tree and palm tree in the table given below. Observe the houses of Sneha and Priya. Whose house do you like more and why? What do you find in Sneha's house? What do you find in Priya's house? What would you do if you have open space in front of your house like Priya's house? How many names of plants or trees do you know in your surroundings? Write their names. Draw the picture of the tallest tree in your area. Color it and write about it. 
observe and write the similarities and differences between jasmine and hibiscus plants. Write down the names of the trees that give us flowers, fruits and shade. Drawing Skills This section helps you to sketch images in a step-by-step -step manner. Click each tab to know more.
Evaluation Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter The Plants Around Us.